What's up, you guys? This is Benjamin from Thoughtcast Magic, and I just wanted to show you what's up with the iOS 18 calculator. Everyone is making a bit of a conniption about it, and uh, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Now, I would highly, highly, highly recommend against putting iOS 18 on your phone. This is one of about five or six iPhones that I have that I use strictly for testing. And my personal phone, I don't update it until uh, what's called the Gold Master is released, which is essentially Apple's final version of the firmware, but uh, of the software, whatever. But uh, with that being said, I have the version installed now. So let's take a look at the, the new calculator. I say, quote unquote, new calculator. So what's new about this? Well, one of the things that's new is the operator. So every time you press one of these orange buttons on the right, uh, it adds the uh, operator symbol in line. Okay, so instead of it showing the latest total, it will put it in line. And eventually, when this gets to be too small, it will uh, turn into a scrolling uh, scrolling guy like this. So it'll just continue the numbers off the side uh, and uh, you can just scroll it left and right to see the entire thing. Uh, you can press the delete button in the upper left corner to delete a single number. Uh, and if you press and hold, it deletes everything. So that's kind of new. Um, same with the other buttons, the plus minus, the percent. If you press it, it'll just do that. Uh, and here's the thing is the equals button is what kind of shows that history. So when I press equals, it'll show the last computation. But when I press another operator, when I press another number, that goes away. So uh, we don't see any of the rest of that. Now, what are some of the other buttons on here? Well, there's a button in the bottom left corner uh, that is a calculator button that if I tap it, it'll take us to the other calculators, basic, scientific, and math notes. And then there's a convert calculator uh, for people trying to convert different values. Um, as far as Calculon goes, this button will be something else. It won't do anything because uh, to, to replicate the scientific calculator and all this other stuff is way out of my own brain's ability. So uh, maybe it'll have this menu, but more than likely this button will just do nothing. And uh, uh, the other thing too is people are kind of freaking out about not being able to swipe to delete the numbers because when you swipe to the right, it shows uh, a history of the calculations. And it also shows it in the upper left corner, there's a little three line button that'll bring up the menu, you tap it, it goes away. So when it comes to Calculon, uh, more than likely, this will be fine. The We'll put the three-line icon at the top. It just won't do anything. Same with the calculator button. Same with the delete button. And like I said in my post, uh, this will be set up in such a way where we'll know which iOS your spectator's phone is running. And we'll show the right calculator when you load it. So you don't have to do anything or set up anything. Um, Another thing to mention is that all the, I think this is because now the calculator is on iPad, all the modes have a landscape mode. So if I turn my phone landscape, now you can, it is just like a regular calculator. And I think that is, like I said, a holdover for the iPad version of uh, the calculator because they're now putting the calculator on both iPhone and, uh, or iPhone and iPad. Uh, with that being said, uh, Something else to note is the toxic force, the good old-fashioned toxic force we all know and love. Uh, if I do, let's see, plus zero, uh, and I believe, so the problem with this, I, I, I don't use, I don't do toxic because I don't have to, because um, I have a, an app that does it, um, but uh, if you hit clear, see, it's, it's going to basically mess things up, because it'll show the last operation, you know, so uh, the toxic force, unless you use one of the apps like Calculon, the toxic force is no longer going to be a thing. If I did, you know, let's say we're forcing one, two, three, plus zero. Um, I think the I is the scientific, so let's put scientific mode in here. Uh, I, you know, yeah, so that's uh that's no longer going to be a thing uh which is great because this way it's a one less thing the audience members can think is a potential solution uh but yeah so just know uh i'm going to start working on making the changes to calculon to make sure that everything's copacetic with the next release and like i said the ios will automatically uh set the calculator look so you don't have to do anything. It'll just happen automatically. So if you have any other questions about this uh, or anything that you're like, hey, can it do this or can it not do this? Uh, 
let me know. I'll try it. I have iOS 18 installed. Uh, but yeah, as far as cal Calculon goes, I've gotten some questions about it. Uh, it's an it's really a non-issue. All the stuff will still work, and uh, you'll be able to do stuff that looks even more incredible because of the fact that Apple has taken away a bunch of things, just like we originally uh, put back a lot of the things Apple took out in iOS 13, if you remember that. Uh, uh, iOS took it out in iOS 13, and then iOS 14, we put them back in Calculon. A lot of the swipes and uh, fun, like... Uh, things where you can press clear and lift your finger and that sort of thing. So yeah, the swipe to delete doesn't work. I'm doing it right now. To the left, it's not going. And obviously to the right, it shows that. Uh, but yeah, if you have questions, let me know. I'd love to try if you want me to try something. Uh, and uh, we'll keep you posted as things develop. So again, Benjamin from Thoughtcast Magic. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.